The Obscenity of the Art World, A Critical Examination of Institutional Failings and Pseudo-Socialism The art world, often seen as a sanctuary for creativity and cultural expression, has increasingly become synonymous with opulence, exclusivity, and excess. This transformation, driven by the commodification of art and its entanglement with extreme wealth, highlights the glaring economic and social disparities within society. However, the obscenity of the art world extends beyond mere extravagance, it is deeply entrenched in institutional failings and the pseudo-socialism of politically correct regimes that tokenize identity to wield selfing political influence. At the heart of this obscenity is the astronomical price tags attached to contemporary artworks. Pieces by renowned artists regularly fetch tens or even hundreds of millions of dollars at auction, reflecting the speculative nature of art as an investment. This commodification reduces art to a mere asset, a status symbol for the ultra-rich, rather than a medium of genuine cultural or emotional value. The art market, driven by profit rather than passion, operates on the whims of wealthy collectors and investors, often sidelining artistic merit. High-profile art fairs and auctions exemplify this phenomenon, where the focus is less on the art itself and more on the spectacle of wealth. These events are exclusive affairs, attended by a select few who can afford the entry fee, both financially and socially. The works on display often serve as trophies for the elite, reinforcing their social status while alienating the majority. The emphasis on luxury and exclusivity creates a culture of inaccessibility, where art becomes a privilege of the rich rather than a shared cultural heritage. Institutional aspects further perpetuate this perverse system. Major art institutions, including museums and galleries, often cater to wealthy patrons and corporate sponsors whose donations and investments influence the curation and acquisition processes. This patronage system can lead to a biased representation of art that prioritizes financial contributions over artistic diversity and inclusivity. Consequently, the art that gains prominence often reflects the tastes and interests of the elite, marginalizing alternative voices and perspectives. Moreover, the pseudo-socialism of politically correct regimes within the art world compounds these issues. Institutions may engage in tokenistic practices, superficially embracing diversity and inclusion to appear progressive while continuing to operate within the same exclusive and profit-driven framework. This tokenism often involves highlighting artists from marginalized backgrounds in a performative manner, using their identities to bolster the institution's image without addressing underlying structural inequalities. This performative approach can be seen in the superficial celebration of diversity during major exhibitions and events. While promoting the works of artists from diverse backgrounds, these institutions may fail to provide sustained support or address systemic barriers within the art world. The result is a veneer of inclusivity that masks the continued dominance of wealthy, predominantly white patrons and collectors who wield significant influence. The fashion industry's involvement with the art world further accentuates this disparity. High-end fashion brands often collaborate with artists to create exclusive, exorbitantly priced pieces, blending haute couture with contemporary art. These collaborations reinforce the notion of art as a luxury good, accessible only to a wealthy few, while catwalk shows and media coverage perpetuate a culture of excess and superficiality. Additionally, the media's portrayal of the art world often glosses over its more unsavory aspects. Coverage tends to focus on record-breaking sales, glamorous events, and celebrity collectors, contributing to a narrative that glorifies wealth and exclusivity. This narrative obscures the art world's complicity in perpetuating inequality and detracts from the broader cultural and social significance of art. In conclusion, the obscenity of the art world lies in its stark contrast between opulence and deprivation, its commodification of creativity, and its detachment from the realities of most people's lives. Institutional failings and the pseudo-socialism of politically correct regimes further exacerbate these issues, tokenizing identity for selfing political influence while failing to address systemic inequalities. To rectify these problems, there must be a concerted effort to democratize art, making it accessible and meaningful to all rather than a privileged few. Only then can the true value of art, as a universal medium of human expression and connection, be realized.